Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan. In this video, we'll see 9 hidden features in the latest One UI 3.0 on Android 11. There are several hidden settings in the latest One UI 3.0 on Android 11 which are quite useful to know. Now let's take a look on what are the hidden settings on the latest One UI 3.0 on Android 11. For the first settings, now you can swipe the picture in picture mode for YouTube videos. So when you play a YouTube video in the background like this, where before you couldn't zoom in this small preview. Therefore, you can watch only in a small preview size like this. You can only enlarge it if you tap it like this and when you open another application, it will shrink back to normal. However, in the latest One UI 3.0, now you can enlarge this preview display. Because this preview display is a little bit small and a bit difficult if you want to watch while opening another application. Fortunately, in One UI 3.0, now you can enlarge the display while opening other application. Here you can press at the corner of the video and zoom in like this. And it will still look big like this while you open other application. Then the second feature in One UI 3.0 is that you can directly copy to clipboard. This is the new setting in One UI 3.0 that you can use to copy photos directly to the clipboard on your keyboard. Then the third feature is the new split screen view. In the split screen section, which is the latest feature, now you can split the screen more easily. For example, if you open an application in split screen mode like this, now it will look a little different than before. Now right here, you can just select the second view at the bottom of the icons on this edge panel. In the latest update, now you can directly choose the second application in the edge panel icon. So you can immediately select one of the icons to show in this split screen view section. And if you want to open another application in the split screen mode, you can directly tap on this section and you can select the application icon. And both applications will immediately open in split screen mode like this. And the setting is just like the previous One UI 2.5 feature. You can switch the display like this and you can also save the icon directly to the edge panel from this section. You just have to tap it and the icon will be put together and saved on the edge panel. So when you want to open both applications at once, you can immediately type on this icon. On the edge panel, there will be an icon that combines two applications that will immediately open at once. Then the fourth new feature in One UI 3.0, you can immediately add widgets from the icons on your home screen. For a menu display, when you hold down an icon like this, it also looks a little bit different in One UI 3.0. Then from here, you can immediately add a widget from this right button. Now all you have to do is select the widget and it will immediately be added to your smartphone home screen. This feature is certainly quite useful for applications that you don't know whether or not they have a widget. So now you can immediately check whether it brings up a widget that you can use. So now you can immediately check which application presents the widget feature. Previously, you had to look one by one in the widget settings menu. Now, if there is an application that has a widget, it will appear on the right side of this icon. Then the next new settings is the permission manager setting. In the latest update, there is a permission manager feature on Android 11. Now in the privacy settings section, there is a permission manager setting. In the permission manager section, now you can check which application use special permission on your smartphone. For example, if you want to check which application use microphone permission, from here you can immediately see which application you allow to use the microphone on your smartphone. If you don't want to allow the use of the microphone on your smartphone for this application, you can just deny at the bottom. Here you can immediately check and see which application use the permission for the microphone. You can also check for cameras, call logs, calendars, and so on. If there is a suspicious application or an application that you don't want to allow to use certain features, you can immediately select deny in this section. You can also adjust the permission for each application, so here now it's quite easy and now you can check based on the permission allowed in the application. And now on Android 11, if you tap deny twice on the application that you denied permission for, the Android pop-up menu won't appear again at the third time you open the application. Then the seventh new feature is a new look in one-handed mode with additional features. When you activate one-handed mode in the settings section, then select advanced features and select one-handed mode. Then from there you activate this one-handed mode, you can immediately activate one-handed mode by swiping from the middle like this. 
Then from here you can see that the new one-handed mode looks a little different from the previous version. Now on the previous back part here, there will be a transparent effect like this. And it looks more attractive than before. Previously on this screen, it will look just black as usual. As for other features such as sliding left and right, this is the same as before. And to enter settings, it is still the same. For additional features, you can now move it up and down. For this one headed mode here, you can also slide directly to the top part of the screen. You can also slide it to the bottom and to move it, you can just hold and just slide it according to the position that you want to use. You can also slide it left or right according to the position of your hand. To exit this one headed mode, you just tap on the outer area of the display. Then the 8th new feature is the battery usage display. If you open the setting, then select battery and device care, then here select battery. The display of battery usage now has appeared since last full charge. So there is an option for graphical display of battery usage from last full charge. Then here is like the latest appearance of before. So now from the latest update, you can get two kind of battery usage report. Then the next feature is bubble notification that comes with Android 11. To activate bubble notification, you can check in the notification section. Then select advanced settings. In the advanced settings, select floating notification and select bubbles. Bubble notification is a little different from the bubble notification that you might already use. For the use of bubble notification on Android 11, for example, if you get a notification like this on Telegram, you can display the notification directly in bubble chat. In the conversation section, at the top, you tap on this right icon. So it will look like this and this is the bubble notification looks on Android 11. If there are any messages that you enter into the bubble notification, it will immediately line up at the top. So for all notifications that you have choose to open in bubble notification, you can easily minimize the icon to open in bubble notification. So this feature maybe is quite useful if you frequently chat the same person over and over again. So you don't need to reopen the application and it will continue to appear on the front screen. This bubble notification so far only support for Telegram and maybe they will support more applications in the future. To close this bubble notification, you can just swipe to the bottom as usual. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get notification when there are new videos from this channel. For those of you who want to ask further, you can immediately comment in the comment section down below. You can also ask in our Telegram group or you can also directly DM us on our Instagram account at Entertainment. See you on the next video.